What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to do a video on what you need before you buy your solar panel system. What what things do you need to to answer to yourself and and calculate before you even worry about shopping for your your first solar panel system. I get a lot of questions and comments about this. So I figured I would try to educate people kind of all at once about what you need to do beforehand. The first thing that you need to do is you need to understand what your goals are for the system. And what I mean by that is, is this system going to be mission critical, life or death, you know, you're relying on this, or is it just going to be something that's a hobby, just something fun to do? Also, are you looking to save money? Are you looking, is this going to be a financial investment that you hope will save you money in the long term, or do you not care about the return? And then, how many hours a day do you anticipate using this system? Um, if you want it to power a TV, you need to tell me, or, or you need to think about um, what your, your TV watching habits are. And then finally, how many days of backup power do you need? Because um, most of the time we're talking about an off-grid system. And so when there will be cloudy days, there will be days of rain, and, and uh, you know, obviously overnight that you need to account for in, in your calculations. So we need to know how many, how many days realistically of, of backup power do we need. The second thing you need to think about and answer is what loads are you trying to power? And by loads, I mean, are you powering lights? Are you powering a TV? Are you powering a, um, you know, an appliance, a refrigerator, or something like that? You need to know that first. That's the very first thing that you need after the goals. You need to know what we're powering, and then along with that, you need to know what power requirements that device or load has. You need to know how many how many volts, whether it's a DC or an AC. Um, you know, alternating current or direct current, and then how many, how much current it it uses, how many amps that it that it consumes, that will allow us to determine and calculate the number of panels and the number of batteries and so forth. And then, is it is the device sensitive to to what I call dirty power? Um, there are certain devices, medical devices, or um, you know, computers and things that are sensitive to running off of cheap inverters. So you you may have to, if you have uh, one of those sensitive devices, you may have to power it off of a pure sine wave inverter, which is definitely a consideration in this. The third thing we need to talk about is what are your constraints? What's limiting you here? Um, you know, maybe your homeowners association won't allow you to install solar panels on your roof. We need to know that. Is there a weight limit? Are you going to be in a boat and you want to power a trolling motor? Well, you can't carry 500 pounds worth of batteries in a boat. Um, is there a size limit? You know, if you do have a roof that you can put these on, what's you know what's the square footage? We can't put 100 panels on your roof if you live in a you know a small two-bedroom house. It's just not going to happen. And then, um, what's your budget? Uh, if you can't spend more than $500, we probably shouldn't be talking about a one kilowatt solar panel system. And then the last thing is we need to know where you live. You need to, to do the research and find out how many direct sun hours you get per day where you live. And that's an average um, calculated over the course of a year that allows you to make these kind of average calculations um, so you know how much sun you'll, you'll, you can anticipate to get. Um, and that corresponds with uh, the last thing is do you do you even have access to a south facing if you're in the northern hemisphere anyway um, but do you have access to sun um, direct sunlight do you do you have a south facing uh, roof that you can uh, install panels on if you live in the northern hemisphere like I do um, but you need to know that if you live in a heavily forested area or uh, or something where it's going to be shaded for for part of the day that's really not going to work and that's going to kill us before we even get started so anyway those are kind of the three main areas and then some some bullet points under each of those that you need to figure out before you start shopping for your system preferably before you ask for help because those are the first things i'm going to be asking you i can't help you and calculate what you need without knowing most of the question, those questions that I've just asked you. 
So anyway, hopefully you found this helpful and, uh, and it's been educational for you. I'll talk to you next time.